Hey there, Cheryl here. Today we are talking about if you are at an ambition checkpoint. And you might be wondering, what on earth is an ambition checkpoint? But I've been having so many people ask me and really tell me that they're feeling a little stuck. And these are people from world-class performers to every to people who are just starting out on a career or making a transition to everyone in between because it happens at every level. So we're gonna talk about today and try and figure out if you are at an ambition checkpoint. And if so, there are a couple ways that you can get what I call unstuck. So the, the first thing is, and this also came to me uh, this idea came to me that it might serve you because of my clients, but also because a friend of mine that came to me recently and she seemed to have everything. I mean, she had amazing kids, she had an amazing career, everything kind of on the outside seemed perfect, but she really felt like she was just getting blown around by her days and she wasn't very purposeful and she felt a little off. And so what we figured out was that she was at an ambition checkpoint. So if you are there too, here are a couple tips so you can check in and check out of an ambition checkpoint. The first thing is have some gratitude for where you are and where you've come already because pretty much everyone on my list, you are climbers and strivers and ambitious. And so sometimes it's incredibly important for you to recognize the lives that you've touched the progress that you've made to this point and really what you have accomplished. And I'm the first to say guilty for not doing this consistently. So it's on my mind. I do. It's a work in progress. I am 100% transparent. I'm not perfect at it. I'm working on it. And it's incredibly important and I've seen it that when I take the time to do this and I focus on this that I, it really helps me get unstuck and it really helps my clients as well and in turn it helped a good friend of mine who I spoke with recently too. The second thing is to create some space. A lot of times we are so busy that we don't create the physical time and space we need to reflect and to make some decisions on how to pivot. So this could involve taking a couple hours at your favorite coffee shop, taking the day off work, just go somewhere that's going to inspire you, go for a long walk, somewhere that's really pretty or something like that. So really create the space so you can reflect on what do you feel is missing, what do you need, and also it's a good time to think about in 12 months down the road what would make me most happy and proud. So think about that. That's the second thing. And then finally, develop a roadmap. Now world-class performers tend to plan with the end in mind. So what that means is if you can see it, you can be it. So rather than thinking about, well, what is my next step right now, or I'm never gonna get there, start really thinking about what you want and desire and yearn for and deserve, and then we work backwards from that. And I want you to think about it as vivid and as visceral as you can every single day, especially before you go to bed, because that's really going to tip off your RAS, which is your reticular activating system, and there's a lot to, manifesting what you want and deserve. It's not just a woo-woo, it's actually in science. So it's really important that you start thinking about what you want and deserve very vividly and very viscerally and think about it a lot. World-class performers, they see themselves on the podium, they see themselves getting a gold medal, they see themselves finish, you know, crossing the finish line. I want you to start doing that too. So I hope those three tips were helpful. The first one, to check in and check out if you're feeling like you're at an ambition checkpoint is to have gratitude. The second one is to create some space. And then the third one is to create a roadmap. Now, if you need some help with all these things, I am here for you. I wanna make this content real, so please do reach out to me. Thanks so much. I look forward to seeing you next time.